In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the distance formula to calculate the distance between two points. So let's say if we have two points, point A and point B. The coordinates of point A are 1, 2, and the coordinates of point B are 9, 17. Use the distance formula to calculate the distance between those two points. So here's the formula that you need. It's equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So you need to know what is x1 and what is uh, x2. So x is the first point, y is the second one. So this is x1, that's y1. And we can call this x2 and y2. So we can see that x2 is 9 x1 is 1, y2 is 17, and y1 is 2. So 9 minus 1 is 8, and 17 minus 2 is 15. Now 8 squared, 8 times 8, that's 64, and 15 squared is 225. Now we need to add 64 and 225. So that's 289. And the square root of 289 is 17. So this is the distance between these two points. It's 17 units apart. Now for the sake of practice, let's try another example. So let's say that C has the coordinates 5, negative 16, and D has the coordinates negative 2 comma 8. So go ahead and use the distance formula to calculate the distance between points C and D. So we're going to call this x1, y1. This is going to be x2 and y2. So D is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So x2 in this example is negative 2 minus x1 which is positive 5. Now y2 is 8 minus y1 which is negative 16. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7 and 8 minus negative 16 because we have two negative signs, we can make it positive. A negative times a negative is a positive number. So 8 plus 16 is 24. And so this is what we now have. Negative 7 squared, which is negative 7 times negative 7, that's positive 49. 24 times 24 is 576. And 576 plus 49 is 625. So now we need to take the square root of 625 and that's equal to 25. So the distance between point C and D is 25 units long. Number three, calculate the area of a circle with center 2 comma 1 and point P 6 comma 4. So let's start with a graph. So this is 6, and this is 4. So point P is located here at 6, 4. X is 6, and Y is 4. And the center is at 2, 1. So the center of the circle is right there. So we can draw a circle around the center. It's probably going to look something like this, and that's a rough sketch. Now the distance between the center and some point on a circle is the radius. So what we need to do is use the distance formula to calculate the distance between the center of the circle and some point P which is on a circle. And if we could find that, that will give us the radius and then we can use that to calculate the area. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So let's call this x1 and y1. And 6 is going to be x2 4 
is y2. So let's start with the formula d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So in this example, x2 is 6, x1 is 2, y2 is 4, y1 is 1. Now 6 minus 2 is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 times 4 is 16, 3 squared is 9, and 16 plus 9 is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So the radius of the circle is 5 units long. So now we can calculate the area. So it's pi r squared, that's going to be pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, so the answer is 25 pi square units. So that's the area of the circle, which is basically the area of the shader region.